So recently we finished up middle school and high school camp and our theme was behold. And we looked at John the Baptist as he said, behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. And as we finished on the last night, we talked about the idea that Jesus also has another behold statement that he says in Revelation, where he says, behold, I'm making all things new. And as we finished camp, our focus was the fact that we, do, we don't just go home different, but that we go home new. That when Jesus has encountered us and we have given our lives to him, what happens is that we're not just different, we're not just better, but that we're new. And we talked a little bit about this verse in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, where it says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come, the old has gone, the new is here. And I love that phrasing, not different, but new. Because I think for so many of us, and especially students, maybe you felt this way when you were younger as well, that sometimes we get so caught up in the behavior modification idea of Christianity. That it's just about doing better or trying to be more like Jesus and live more like Jesus. And while th that, that goal is good, ultimately what God is saying that we're missing is the fact that he is the one who has done the transformation in us. That he took our heart of stone and turned it into a heart of flesh. And so it's not just about us being better, but we're completely new creations. And I love that actually, if you jump back a verse in this chapter, it says, so from now on, we regard no one from a worldly point of view. I love that phrasing, that even as we look at our own lives or maybe the lives of friends that we feel like are far beyond repair, they couldn't possibly get better, that we've been regarding them and regarding ourselves from a worldly point of view, thinking that could never get better, that could never be different. And we're reminded in the gospel of Jesus that when we are in Christ, the new creation has come, the old is gone. That real gospel transformation can take place because of Jesus. Not just getting better, not just being different, but new. And that it takes nothing short of Jesus in our lives to do that for us. And so would you be encouraged today, if you feel like you're caught on the hamster wheel of just trying to be better, trying to live more like Jesus, remember that he is the one who has transformed us. He is the one that in him, we are new creations. That it's his spirit at work in us that then begins to do the sanctification as we live more like him. So be encouraged of what it means to be in Christ today and that the new has come, the old is gone.